Um, good evening, sisters, and welcome to tonight's How to Series. Thank you for turning up on time, and I'm praying that um, others will turn up. Mm. So let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you greatly for a time like this, Sith January 2024. What a time to be here, a time to be at your feet. Father, I pray that tonight as we join in to um, listen to your word and the huge testimony we are going to listen to lord may hearts be moved even as the word goes round about who you are lord may all praise may all praise be directed to you for you are a great and mighty god and there is none like you we pray for our resource person reverend uh, yvette nancy chairman lord i pray that you will fill her greatly and may she's Speak right from your throne room. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise you. And Lord, I also pray for um, our sister Yvonne, who's going to sing and probably help us throughout the night. Feel her greatly. And may she, may she bless us and bring us straight to your throne room as well. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you for holding Wi-Fi networks. Thank you for bringing busy sisters here. Thank you for everything you have done and have already planned to do. Thank you, Jesus, for your finished work on the cross. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have prayed every single prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 So welcome to How to Series. Um, I know it's going to fill up the moment um, 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 we start properly. So without much ado, I'll let Sister Yvonne sing first, and then um, Sister Yvette and I can start our chat. Welcome, Sister Yvonne. Good evening. Thank you, Good Sister evening. Nanaya. Good evening. Good evening, dear sisters. I'm just going to have a, a short ministration of just thanking God. You know, the title today is um, that the Lord healed. He touched and healed us and made us whole. So just want to thank God. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory, the honor, and the adoration. We know that you are the God that restores and heals us, Lord. And we just want to magnify as we hear these amazing testimonies to glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 He touched me. Yes, he touched me. And oh, what joy that floods my soul. Oh, something happened. And now I know he touched me and made me whole. Oh, he touched me. Yes, he touched me. Oh, and oh, what joy that floods my soul. Oh, something happened, and now I know that he touched me. And made me whole. Oh, he touched me. Yes, he touched me. And oh, the joy that floods my soul. Oh, something it happened. And now I know that he touched me and made me whole. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful, you are worthy, oh Lord, you are wonderful, you are worthy, oh Lord, we give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. 
We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. Ancients of day, as old as you are, as old as you are, you remain the same. Ancient of days, as old as you are. As old as you are, you remain the same. Oh, ancient of day, as old as you are, as old as you are, you remain the same. Ancient of day. As old as you are, as old as you are, Lord, you remain the same. Ancients of day, as old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change. Ancients of day, as old as you are, as old as you are, Lord, you remain the same. For you deserve the glory and the honor, Lord. We lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name. You deserve the glory and all of the honor. Father, we lift our hands in worship and we bless your holy name for you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. For you are great. You do miracles so great. And there is no one else like you. Lord, there is no one else like you. Ancient of days, we say as old as you are. As old as you are, you remain the same. Ancient of days. As old as you are, Lord, as old as you are, you remain the same. Be glorified, Lord, be glorified. We are saying, be glorified. Oh, be glorified. Be glorified in the heavens. Be glorified in the earth. 
Lord, be glorified in this temple. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, be thou glorified. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, be thou glorified. Jesus, oh Jesus, be thou glorified. Kadosh, 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 Kadosh. Is the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. Oh, for he alone is worthy of our praise. Is the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. Lord, for you alone is worthy of our praise father this is all for you it all belongs to you for from you are all things and to you are all things father accept our worship this evening lord and our testimony lord we give you all the glory the honor and the adoration in jesus name we have worshiped amen amen and amen and amen thank you so much sister yvonne father we thank you for yvonne's life Lord, we thank you that she has helped usher us into your throne of grace and mercy. Lord, may everything that we do today bring you glory. Thank you for Yvonne's life. We cover her with the blood of Jesus. May you continually speak on behalf of Yvonne. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen, amen. sisters. So, amen. Um, I'm just excited, very excited. We've got a sister here, sister, um, Reverend. Yvette Nancy Chermating, who is going to share her, her story. And thank you, um, Yvette, for showing your face. Um, um, it's really nice that you are here. We are grateful to see you and to see you so well. God bless you. So um, Yvette will start us off, off. Yes. Yvette will start us off by telling us a bit about herself. You know, um, growing up in Ghana, um, secondary school life, where she went to secondary school, um, stuff like that. She'll start off with that story and um, to her adult life up to the point when she got married at some point, and then we'll take it from there. So welcome, Yvette. Welcome. Welcome. Um, thank you so much, Nanaya. Thank you so much, Nanaya. Yeah, welcome, Thank Yvette. you. Yes. Um, I'll, I'll start by singing one song so that we can really enter into the testimony. We lift your name higher. We lift your name higher. We lift your name higher. We lift your name high. Oh, we lift your name higher. We lift your name higher. We lift your name higher. We lift your name, oh shout hallelujah, hallelujah, shout hallelujah, hallelujah, shout hallelujah, hallelujah, shout hallelujah, hallelujah. We lift your name, I, oh join me. We lift yeah. your name, yeah. I, I, we lift your name higher. Oh, we lift your name higher. Oh, shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. 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 Angels bow before him, 
heaven and earth adore what a mighty God we said, the angels bow before, before him. Heaven and earth adore What a mighty God we serve. We, we thank the Lord for how far he has brought us. We thank him for the gift of life, that special gift of life, and the miracle of the mercy that he has shown towards us. He is a good God. I just want to start by saying that God is so good and he, he loves us, even though whilst we were yet sinners, he showed us his love. I just want to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for bringing me thus far. I was born and bred in Accra. Uh, we lived at Tesano. Um, my mom and my dad, we were all at Tesano. And I went to St. Mary's Secondary School from, from one to three. That's where I met Nanaya. And then from there, I went to Wesley Girls High School. And from Wesley Girls, I did my sit form at Accra Academy. And then um, I got married. I have four girls. Uh, I worked uh, a bit at uh, CPF with Dr. Ntiamwa. And then from there, I worked at Emmanuel Restoration School and then Kids Vision Academy, where I work as the headmistress. Yes. Nanaya, can I continue? Absolutely, yes, Yvette. I'm just sitting here smiling. Yeah. Okay. So it is there as I was going around my normal duties that I felt my a pain in my leg. And this my right foot. And it Fiona. was swelling up. So I'll still go around my normal duties and then lie down a bit in my office and all that. This started uh, mid-November 2021, yes. Wow. A year, just a year after I got COVID. married. Mm -hmm. Yes, a year after I got, I remarried, yes. Mm -hmm. It started a, a, a year after I got married. Um, I think we've got some pictures that... of you when it, when it started, Sorry? actually. We've got some pictures of how you looked um, when you got married Hello? and so on. Can you hear me, Yvette? Hello? Can you hear me, please? I can. I can. I was just saying we've got some pictures of when you got married. We'll just share those. Yes. Um, yes. And then uh, this thing started eating me up. It started eating me up. And I went to a nearby hospital, a hospital near my workplace, where I work as the headmistress. And I was referred to the Legon Hospital. And that is where it all started. Uh, they did some blood samples, checked my sugar. My sugar was a bit high, but not so high to the extent of corroding my skin. So I, I had to discharge myself because it wasn't helping. The more they gave me medication, the worse it became. And this is where it started. I was on the hospital bed, you can see, uh, on the, by the picture over here, I was on the health hospital bed and it kept climbing up and climbing up. And I asked the Lord, God, you have called me to do your work. So why is this happening to me? And the first word the Lord gave me was Job 14 from the verses seven to nine, which says that for there is hope of a tree that if it be cut down, that it will sprout again. But the emphasis was on the nine. That is said that yet through the scent of water, it will bud again and bring forth boughs like a plant. And I said, so as the Lord gave me the word, this thing was still climbing and getting worse. So I asked the Lord, 
what, what is happening? Is this how I'm going to? This he gave me was Ezekiel chapter seven, the view of the dry bones. And these bones, he told me, God specifically told me that these bones had been in that valley and very dry. So it is through faith that the prophet was able to prophesy for these bones to live again. So the question the Lord asked me was, are your bones that dry? And I said, God, you are the only one who knows. So I went on from there. And it was getting worse by the day, worse by the day, with all the medication, the strong antibiotics. And I said, what, what is this? I couldn't even look at my leg because my skin was corroding so fast. Um, so, so fast. Yvette, I'll just stop you for a moment. I just yeah. want to um, um warn sisters who are watching that the, 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 the pictures are going to get graphic, but you are here right now and you are telling us a testimony. So it's quite clear what God did in the end. So there's no need to panic. Um, we will show some pictures. If you are not sure you want to watch it, please turn away. Um, but um, it's just amazing to see what God did. So Yvette has got to the point where she's telling us about um, um, whatever was happening to her, climbing up her leg. So we'll show a few more pictures. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Nana. So this thing was just, my, my, my skin will be burning and then it will just burst open and then some white stuff will become, then it will be climbing. And the pain was so unbearable. I would scream through the day and scream through the night. The pain was, was so much that your heart could just stop beating. This pain was so excruciating. And the only way I could sleep was when my kids and my son from work, Pabna, would come around and, and pray and pray in tongues and, and pray to God. And, and I'll just scream and scream till I fall asleep. No amount of medication, painkillers could stop the pain I was going through. It got so bad that one day they carried me, I couldn't even sit in a wheelchair. So they had to virtually be carrying me all over the place. My, my girls, my two girls who were here, the older ones were in the United States. So my two girls who were here in Ghana with me, they were, then they were um, 17 and 15. So they would be carrying me around, carrying me and come and put me in the chair in the hall. One day I was sitting in the chair in the hall and I realized I was climbing these golden stairs. These stairs were so wide and there were a lot of stairs ahead of me. And I was in the middle of the stairs and I could hear some voices and those voices were so angelic and they were singing. The song I was hearing was the song, Kresen Yosuru. Hallelujah. Oh, that one, any That was a song I was hearing. That was, and I said, Oh, if it, can I try and translate a bit of the song as much as I can? Okay. Um, because um, there are people who will not understand the English, but she said she was standing, obviously, she could see um, um, a wide staircase, but um, there were angelic voices singing um, um, about, Yvette, I think you should do the translation better than me, actually. Do you think you can do it? I'll try. I'll try. Go for it. 
So when I was climbing these stairs, the song I was singing is like, look at how these hills uh, are shining. And all the whole world is singing. Um, this heavenly place, heavenly place. That is where I can hear the angelic voices, the angelic song. And this is how the angels are singing. Listen to how these angels are singing. And the song was so, the voices were so good. And I wanted to get to the end of the staircase and see those singing because I had never had such voices in my entire life. Wow. And I was going and climbing up and my head was, according to my kids, my head was to one side and they had all gathered around me and they were praying and singing and shaking me, mommy, don't go, mommy, don't go, you can't leave us. And that is what brought me back to life wow. because a lot of people had surrounded me and they were praying. Apparently I was going, I was almost gone. And after that, I was here with my children. It got to a point I couldn't even see, but I didn't tell them. I could just hear their voices. My blood was so low, it went as low as four because this uh, wound was oozing out blood and water. And anytime they give me some transfusion, all the transfusion will come out through the soul. I, I, think, I, I think we'll just hold on a second, Yvette, and um, just show um how the wound looked like and what for people to understand how it can ooze out the blood that you were given so sister mm. Fiona if you can just go to the next couple of pictures for me that's um Yvette can describe but that's the saw and then um if you can move on to the next two and obviously now it's such a big big gaping hole that it's oozing all the blood that she was given so sisters, um, it, it, this is a huge, huge, huge trial that our sister went through. And it's just amazing. She's here to tell the story. So Yvette, I'll let you carry on. Okay. So one, one day I was, as I was saying, I couldn't even see, but I couldn't tell my children that I can't even see your faces. My blood was so low that I went virtually blind. Everything around me was dark i couldn't see anything and whenever i close my eyes and i sleep all i will see are my dead relatives my dead relatives all over me around my bed and everywhere and then one day i was asleep in the night and i woke up to this shaking my my last daughter was sleeping by me and she had held my hand so tight and i was like why i could barely even talk i was like why are you holding me she said mommy you were knocking on your bed so loud that it woke me up from my sleep and you were saying that you are at the gate so why are, are they not opening the gate for you why because you've come all the way to the gates and you are knocking so hard and the knock on the bed is what's woke me up so mommy please don't leave so she was shaking me holding my hands and shaking me and that was all brought me back to life and as we were going on they, i couldn't even get up and use the washroom so these children will put diapers on me will wash me put towels on the bed and wash me on the bed i couldn't do anything anything if i would do something they would have to prop me up with pillows it was, it was so, 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 so bad. And one day, a, a nurse and a doctor came to see me at home. They were trying to give me some infusions. Apparently, all my veins had collapsed. And they couldn't even revive me. They had to bundle me in a car. And they took me to one private hospital. And then when we got to the hospital, the doctor said, ah, this woman you have brought here is a dead woman. So do you want to come and spoil my record? You want her to come and die here? You have to take care. I'm referring you to take care to Kolebu. She can't be here. Kolebu is our main hospital in Accra here. 
said, you have to take her to the main hospital because she's almost gone. But they pleaded with him and he was a friend to the nurse and the doctor who took me. So they, the, the lab assistants who took mm. me. So they, they pleaded with him and then they had to give me some emergency. You know, they were trying to set lines. It wasn't working. Eventually they got a line and they set the line. And, you know, I wasn't even aware. And they took me straight to the theater to go and clean this wound. Is the picture that was shown before. I was on the theater. The one before, Fiona. Yes, yes. With my leg open and they went to clean my... I was in the theater for five hours and I wasn't even aware of myself. Before until that. They brought, until they brought me to the ward. Yes. And I, I came around. But I was so weak. Anytime I, I, I close my eyes to sleep, all my dead relatives would be around me and I would scream and they would turn the lights on and all that. So fast forward. After one week, they had to discharge me and they discharged me and I came home. I came home, I think, will I say weaker than I went because wow. still my blood wasn't working. And you know, the doctor was belonged to a certain group and they don't believe in blood transfusions and all that. So when I went to the hospital, when I collapsed, the doctor wasn't giving me any blood transfusion. He was just using supplements to try and revive me back. But before I had been given uh, blood transfusions at other hospitals. So why wasn't he doing that? But he said that, oh, he will work around it. So I came home very weak. They had to carry me out of the car and put me back in my room. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't move. I couldn't do anything. And it, it, was, it was so bad. And then one dawn, I woke up and my, I was sleeping. My third daughter was sleeping by me, Yahan. And I told her that, Yahan, I feel so, so, so bad. I feel that there's some things burrowing in my bones. And it's so painful, I can't even sleep. And she said, oh, mommy, I'm sure it's your soul. So let's sleep. I said, no, turn on the lights and let's see. I removed the soft band that was around my, and it had climbed up to my thighs. So I removed the soft band around my leg and she came and she was like mommy there's some things some animals in your leg mommy mom and I said what is it she said mommy so we had to boil water put it in a bowl and you know my 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 leg had been burnt for over a year I couldn't straighten it it was so bent I couldn't even turn it around so I had to put this leg on the bow, the big bow, and they had to wear gloves. These kids have to wear gloves and put um, uh, spirit and uh, dress solution. They will spray it on this soul. You can imagine how painful it was with all these insects or animals. I can't, they are not, they are not worms. They are not maggots. They are some brown, thick brown insects with dark brown, with light brown lines around it. I don't know, some form of bat. I don't know what they were. And they will spray into the soil. And these children with their gloves on will remove, will be removing it and I will be screaming and they will be removing it. And when these animals even fall in the hot water, they do boiling water. We had about three kettles on. So we pour this in, pour that in. They don't die. They climb out. And so we have to carry it and go and pour it outside and all that. It was, it was something else. And this was after the Lord had given me scriptures that I would walk again. I dreamed seeing myself walking and all that. So I, I was like, why is this thing getting worse? After hearing the voice of, of God, why? 
why is it getting so bad? Then a family friend introduced me to this herbalist who was an elder from the Church of Pentecost, Elder James Powell. And he came to see me and he said, this woman will not die. This woman will rise up again. This leg will not be amputated. But the Lord is telling me to apply my herbs and she will walk again. This was after spending so much money on antibiotics, intravenous, a whole lot. And it wasn't working. But this man said, this woman will walk again. And he said that when I come to you and you are not going to survive, God will never let me touch you. But God says I should touch her and apply my hands on her and she will survive. So that is how come I got this man treating me and treating me, praying with me. And I went through a whole lot, a whole lot. Spiritual attacks, a whole lot. And then he applied these herbs. And then one day, that was in April, I, I used to join this prayer line that, we pray every day. And that particular week, we were on the blood of Jesus. So we were taking communion after every wow. prayer session. We we'll take communion. And then, so on the last day, what happened is that I slept I, I think I, I think I, I, I want to stop you for a second. And mm. I want you to tell sisters about the journey with friends as well and people you knew who were Christians and how that, that affected you. If you mm. can just say that before you get to this point here. Oh, that's also another story altogether. <laughs> and you know, I had a lot of pastors praying with me. Pastor Alex and his group, they were praying with me. My sister and her group, my sister was so supportive. Professor Rosina Chermatin mm, from the here. University of Ghana. She was so supportive. She was always by me. Sometimes my children will have to call her. She will have to rush from her house. And she moved to come and live with me for about two months. And she had to go back because of her, the nature of her work, being the dean of students and all that. She had to go back. And there were so many dear friends praying with me. Prophet Kwame Yebwa, Prophet Za, and his team, they were all praying with me every day, every day. They were all praying with me. And then my friends, my very good friends that I loved, my pastor friends that I loved with my own, my, 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 my soul, that I would stand up with them when they needed prayers. I would pray with them, fast with them. You know, they came to see me and went back telling everybody that, oh, this woman will not survive. This woman will not make it. So you, let's just pray for God to receive her soul because she won't make it. And even my own husband, who was an apostle of God, also turned his back against me. Hmm. He was rather going around telling people that I have sinned so I need to confess my sin. So what kind of sin? What have I done? This is just a temptation that has come. Why won't you stand with me? Why won't you stand with me in prayer? And then you would rather go about telling people that I have to confess before uh, the Lord will touch me or else I will die. Somebody that... I, I, I only loved with my, my body, my soul, and my mind. And when I, I am in such a mess, this is all you can see. So he turned his back at me. He turned his back completely. And friends, friends, some pastor friends will come and secretly take pictures of me without my knowing and go and show the state in which I am to other people. 
it, it was something else. It if was it doesn't it remind you of Jesus's um, walk on the cross as he was going? He was oh. deserted completely by his disciples. Some said they didn't even know him. And he predicted it was going to happen. And the more you speak about it, the more I think about when he says, pick up your cross and follow me. It's literally a cross. And as you walk with that cross, you suffer the things that Jesus suffered. And mm. your description of some of these things is just uh, is just what this life can be, isn't it? A difficult walk where you would you will be abandoned. But um, um, God is so gracious. God is so gracious, and God would then pray for even the people who abandoned you because He loves us all. But I'm so grateful that you are here to even walk people through even that difficulty. God is mercy. God have mercy indeed. Um, keep going, sis. So um, I got to the point that I was joining the prayer group and we were doing communion uh, after the end of every session. We were doing it for one week. But the, the last day, you know what happened? I slept off, so I couldn't join the communion. So the following day was a Saturday my son, Kwabna, from where came to see me at home. And I said, Kwabna, hey, you know what? Yesterday was our, com our last communion day and I missed it. So let's join, let's join hands together, pray and finish this communion. Off. So I prayed with him. We prayed and we took this communion. And right after the communion, I was going into my room to go and pick something up. I went and I sat in the sofa in my room. And as I was getting up to, to come back to the hall, I realized that my leg that had been bent for over a year was straightening. And I was, I could stand on it. Wow. Right after the communion, I could stand on this leg that had been so bad, this leg that I couldn't even stretch, it was bent for over a year. On the 1st of April, 2023, after the last part of the communion, I could walk <laughs> on this leg. The blood of and, Jesus, Yvette, this is amazing. I've got that was, video. I've got a video of when you first walked and I'm just going to ask um, Sister Fiona to show it because I've watched it a few times and it's just amazing every time I watch it's it. So amazing. It's, it's amazing. And I just need um, you to be quiet for the sisters to just, just enjoy this moment with you. First, mm. you said it was 1st of April. Do you say it was? 1st of April, 2023. Fantastic. The power of the blood of Jesus. Sister Fiona, if you are ready, just show people that video. God bless you. Mm. We'll just give it a second. Okay. Um, the volume is not coming up, Fiona, because um, Yvette is singing at this moment. Mm -hmm. She was singing, see what the Lord has done. Yes. Fiona, do you want to try it again? Yeah, I'll try it again. Thank you. Sister, see if you can just be patient with us. Because mm -hmm. it's it's a video worth watching. Otherwise, I'll join on my phone and try it, try it that way on my phone. Mm -hmm. Okay, it looks like um, I think I'm struggling with the sound. Okay, so um, if you give me a minute, sisters, I will um transfer transfer my 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 thing to my phone. Let's just do this. Um, um, one second, and I I was trying to play it off mine, and it wasn't it wasn't working. And um, let me just sign in again. Let's try. Um, 
please be patient because it's it's really worth watching and it's really worth seeing. So have mercy mm. on us and um, that will give Yvette a chance to be a bit quiet and just you lot to take it all in and contemplate what the Lord um um the the Lord has done. I'll make has done. I'll make has done. I'll make has done. I'll make has done. <laughs> I'll just make myself co-host and then I can try and share it from here. Okay. I can hear you trying to sing. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. Um make myself co-host. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Try that. Okay. Sure. Okay. If Yvette, you keep talking, and if I'm able to download it, I'll tell you. Okay. So, as soon as I got up in my room, and I was trying to use my walking aid, my my leg was stretching and it stretched at once. And the song, I was saying, my children were amazed. Everybody was like, hey, mommy, hey, mommy, you can walk. So the song I started singing was, see what the Lord has done. Can you see what the Lord has done? What we waited for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. Can you see what the Lord has done? What we waited for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. And I've walked since 1st April 2023 till today. God has been so good. God has been so faithful. And I want to take this opportunity to encourage someone going through some kind of pain, be it physical, emotional, spiritual, or mental pain. I want you to know and understand that there is nothing too hard for the Lord. He is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above what we can think or even imagine. Our God is faithful. Our God is a faithful God. He's a good God. And I, I want to present this God to you. If you have not taken Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, he's given you a chance today to accept him and to hold on tight to him and to know that no matter what you are going through, God is able. He, he, you just have to have faith in him. You just have to believe in him. I always used to dream seeing myself walk, but I never thought it would be so soon. But on the first of it, 20, yes, that's the reason. What we waited for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. Whoa, can you see what the Lord has done? What we waited for has come to pass. Who's that? Miracle. <laughs> <laughs>
Wow, wow, Yvette. Wow, Yvette. <laughs> I have a million times I must say. Wow. I just want any sister before Yvette continues with trying to let you pay attention to Jesus, any sister who is led to sing just to praise the Almighty God, I will give you the chance. And if you can just put your hand up. Because this is not just listening. This is praise. I, I, I can see comments like people are saying they are near tears. Some people are crying. But anybody who feels led to sing, um, I am. I will be really grateful for you to unmute. Go, go for it, Sister Margaret. Thank <laughs> Mama, <laughs> My Oh, Hallelujah. We've got hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. We've got one more person who's willing to sing. Um, I'll let her do that. Go for it, Sister Lena. Hallelujah. We thank God so much for your life, dear sister. Mm. And this song just mm. dropped in my spirit. And it's just mm. how the Lord gave you that word and it has come to pass. Mm. When you are a boy, you are a boy. You 
Oh, oh you me before. No hey, my Mando. Where <laughs> are you? Where are you? Yes, Lord. When you're my boss, I know. I bet. Yes, Lord. I bet. I Thank you, Jesus. When you're my boss, I know. I bet. Yeah. Hallelujah. Covenant and keeping God. There is no one like you. Because you are the author and omega. There is no one like you. Thank you, Lord, for being a covenant keeping God. In yes, Lord. Amen. God bless you, Amen. 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 I will let you keep talking. <laughs> He's and, a great and God. The song that I sang that day is one song by Dunsen Onyekan. And it says, And when people ask me, This is all I can say. It is the thing of God in my life. Oh, it's not by my mind. Oh, it's not by my power. I am not as intelligent but for grace and when people ask me this is what I can say what would you say it is the thing of God in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. It is, Amen. It is really the finger of God that pulled me out of this shameful sickness that pulled me out. And I'm here today sharing my journey with you. And I want to encourage you. I want you to know that there is nothing that Abba Father, our God, cannot do. He is the only true God. There shall never be any like him. And there shall be never be, there shall never be any before him, after him. He's the only true God. Oh. And today, I want you to know that no matter what you are going through. If you have been abandoned by your family, if you have been abandoned by your spouse, if you have been abandoned by your friends, know that he is the only true God who is the comforter. He is our comforter in times of need, in times of rejection and dejection. He's our only comforter. And there is nothing he cannot do. He, he's able to do this one song. What no man can do. He's my able God. Able God. He's my able God. Able God. He's my able God. Able God. There is, oh, there is nothing, oh God. I want you to increase your faith in this God and whatever it is, just put it before him 
his throne room of grace and he will show you mercy. He will show you kindness. He will show you his goodness and his love. There's no true love than the love of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He has comforted me. He has consoled me. He has healed me. He has touched my life. And I'm happier now than I was before because he's my only source of livelihood. Without him, I wouldn't have been here. So I want you to join me and thank him. We are saying thank you. Thank you, you, Jesus. Thank you. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Mother. Yenina go muda was Hallelujah. 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 I've got um a I'm, I'm for you, but I just want you to have a little bit of a break. Sister Fiona, can you show um the photo of how if well we can see how she looks now but she had an amazing um um thanksgiving service where all our mates um some from st mary's from from wesley girls and um, people who love her were all gathered and i saw this photo of her in an orange dress which was posted and i thought wow 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 but looking at you here right now i i, I don't think even the photo that's justice to what God has done and we are grateful to God for that I have one question for you though and um, one person is wondering did you ever think that God had turned his back on you did you ever feel like that no not at all not at all I held on to my faith I, I and I knew uh, whether I live or I die it's on to God. So I, I didn't lose my faith. I was always praying, meditating on the word of God, worshiping. They were always playing my worship song because I love to worship. So they were always playing my worship songs and I was meditating on the word of God, his promises that he had given me. I never thought God had turned his back on me. I knew he was going to use it for his glory i know he was going to use it for his glory and because of the word he had given me i held on to that word it was difficult but i didn't i never for once thought that god has rejected me or turned his back on me. no way no way fantastic another question is do you mm. think um, you were attacked greatly because of your stature in God's kingdom. How do you see yourself in God's kingdom work? I, I, I knew very well that it was an attack of the devil because prior to that, about two years to what happened, I would go to um, fellowship with my um, one prophet friend, Prophet Zah, and he would always call me to the phones and ask them to stand and give me parade prayer and intercede because he sees them bringing a coffin to my house. And he was, even when I don't go, he will call for me to come and then they would pray with me. They would all stand and give me, a, 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 do intercession 
for me strongly. So I was wondering, I was like, what is happening? How can th- how come this man is always talking about these things? And then, you know, one time I couldn't walk. So I was inside and my daughter, my third daughter, I was alone with her in the house. So if she has to go and buy some items, she would go and buy it. So one day she came to me and she said that, mommy, there's this strange looking bed on on the ceiling and it has been on this roof for about this today is the third day it has been on this roof but it's at the same place and it's stuck to the same place and it's not a vulture it's not a crow and but it looks very strange and it's big so just as she was telling me i got a call from my prophet friend who was always calling me to the front to be prayed for and he said that and at events, there's an evil bed, right as she was telling me. He said, there's an evil bed that has been sent to come and pick your soul. But that bed is stuck on your roof and it will perish on your roof. And I said, wow. So my daughter was here with me and she heard what the man said. And she said, aha, mommy, this bed is looks so strange and sometimes would wake up and then she'll go and take a picture of a bed without a head and there'll be blood on the neck, a black bed that is dead on my compound. And there were so many strange things happening, you see? So I knew it was an attack of the devil to cut my life short. I knew it. I knew it. Wow. Wow. You just reminded me the way you were saying you got some prophets calling and saying things. Amos 3 verse 7. It says, surely the sovereign law does not does nothing without mm. revealing his plan to his servants, the prophets. And, and he reveals. And once he reveals it, he's going to redeem, isn't he? So the revelation yeah. comes at a great time where you know, God is showing you what I'm about to do. This is what the, the evil hand is doing. But I'm going to mm. show you what I'm about to do. What, yes. what a great God we serve. What a great yeah. God we serve. How has this affected your children, do you think? Hmm. And it affected them. Um, my little one, I would say, it affected her in a negative way. Because this is someone who has seen me praying with them, even when they were kids, anointing them. It's all about prayer, fasting praying and all that. So one day she asked me, she said to me, mommy, why is it that I've seen you since I was a child and it's all about prayers. You've been praying with us, you know, studying the word of God with us. So how come you are going through this? Mm. She asked and I said, she shouldn't lose faith. She almost lost her faith. And I told her not to lose faith but God will surely heal me. And she has seen it come to pass. So I'm sure after seeing me walk and all that, it has rather boosted her faith because she almost lost. And she told me one day that she wanted to study other religions and know the truth because she doesn't understand what is happening to me. Hmm. But God God proved himself. Wow. Wow. Yes. I think I remember that um, when I heard part of your testimony, there was something about your your brother who is a doctor and his confirmation that this was not just any illness. Can you share that with people? Um, my brother, uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Enoch Chebatin. Yes. 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 He's Manchester. He came down to see me. And when he came, he said, This. It's not a diabetic wound. It can never be a diabetic, you know, because, you know, diabetic wounds are usually to one place and it doesn't climb, but it gets worse at one. But this was something that was corroding my skin. And he said, this might be a flesh eating bacteria, you know. You know, uh, doctors will always say that yes. this, is, this is something. But I, I, I knew that it was more spiritual than physical because... How come we were applying all the medication? I was taking high antibiotics, but it wasn't working. 
It wasn't working. Wow. It wasn't. Wow. So just the, the hand of. <laughs> the next question is: Is is your skin fully back? Oh, I I can show it to you. the skin that was golden. I don't know how I am going to do this, but I can show. It's the skin is growing. Wow. Can you see? Wow. The skin with all the holes. The holes are filling up. Yes. What a mighty Because God. my brother even said I might need skin grafting. But when he came, <laughs> and he was here in November. And he said, wow, this thing is filling up. Because it was like all the flesh had come off. And yeah. it was with my, my, my nerves and my, you know, all the flesh was off, you know. So, and, and the, the sore is just left with, you know, where uh, my skin gaped open. It was yes. open. Yes. Uh -huh. That part it, it is now together. And it, there's a little bit of a sore there. Uh -huh. But I'm, I'm treating it. Yes. Wow. Treating it with more communion and more word of God. That's your treatment. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God wow, good. wow. Yeah. Um, somebody has just written the great Paula is um Potter is filling it up. The yes. Potter, you are clay in his hand and it's fit it's filling up. How has yes. that um, um 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 developed your trust in God and your faith? It, it has rather increased my faith. Well, I know that there is nothing that this God cannot do. There is nothing. I know that there is. A, I've always believed in him since my infancy anyway. But now I know and I have tasted and I have tried. And I know that this God is good. There is nothing that he cannot do. If I'm here. I can stand, I can walk, I can go back to work. Oh, what is there that this God cannot do? <laughs> yeah. Um, there's a sister who wants to ask a question. I've just sent her a message telling her that it's okay and um, giving her a few guidelines. So, Nane Kriya Friye Fusuhine, you wanted to ask a question? Mm -hmm. Go for it. Yes, sis. I wanted to ask a question. Uh, I wanted to ask that, what was the purpose of this uh, trial in your life? The purpose? Mm. Yes. Oh, I know um, this, the purpose of this trial was to show forth the glory of God and, and to, to let somebody who is going through something, maybe cancer, something worse than mine, know that we have a healing Jesus who is able to do and do exceedingly abundantly above what we can think or imagine. And so I'm just a signboard for mm -hmm. people to know Jesus is still in the healing business. Yes. Yes, he's the same today, yesterday, and forever. Amen. 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 Is your question Amen. answered, um, sister? Yes, please. Yes, fantastic. Please. A signpost to Jehovah Rapha. That's what it is. Um, one person is asking, how long was the deepest, darkest part of this trial? Because we are waiting for a few things to to completely be gone. But how long was it? Um, that this trial. Yes, it's in November, the mid of November, twenty twenty one, and I walked in April, 2023. So, and ever since I've been, so it, it's, it's, it was over a year. Yeah, 16 year. months. Yes. 16 months. 16 yeah. months of, of struggling and suffering. And, um, you know, you know, when the bits where you said about, um, you were, you were asleep, but you were knocking on your, your, your bed, asking bed. that they should open the door um, your daughter was saying you were saying open the door let me in um yeah. did you have any vision of what um you were knocking at when you when when she brought you out out of your slumber well, it, big gates it was a big gate and i could hear people talk 
behind the gate. But I, I wanted them to open me, but it wasn't working. They, they couldn't even hear me. They couldn't even hear me. So I was screaming and knocking at the door. And you know, the surprising thing was then I couldn't talk much. So my, yes. my daughter was wondering how come I was screaming so, so loud. And it woke her from her sleep. And I didn't have even enough strength, but she said I was knocking hard on, on my bed. And that's what woke her up. Yes. What, what, in, 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 in looking back, what do you think you were knocking at? Was it the door to heaven as in, let me in, I want to go? Yes, I, mm. it was heaven's gate, yes. It wow. Gates. wow, wow, wow. It's almost like you were pleading for this cup to be taken away from you. Um, okay. um, but to a point, I didn't lose my faith, but mm -hmm. I, I, I thought, God, just cut this thing short. Mm -hmm. Why am I suffering so much? Mm -hmm. I, I don't deserve to suffer so much. God, can you let this cup pass? You know, I, I got to that moment, that point, but I never lost my faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, I, I'm just waiting for more questions from sisters because I'm, I'm sitting here and it's just um, a point that we will spend a lot of time praying after this. But mm -hmm. um, because um, the, there's nothing like you sharing your testimony and you, you know, God comforts us and then we are able to comfort people with the comfort we ourselves have received. So mm -hmm. I can see you speaking into the lives of hurting people, speaking into the lives of people who are ill and bringing them a solution and a comfort like, like you got from God. I can see that very clearly. I think it's 2 Corinthians 1, 3 to 4, I believe. 2 Corinthians 1, 3 to 4. Um, um, I'm not looking at my, my, my Bible right now. I'm just um, um, staring at you because I can't stop looking at you and it's just nice to see you live on screen um, um, have you question is have you forgiven those who have um, neglected you um, and have you had the opportunity to relate back to them hmm. uh, this is, is a good question one thing I never held on in my heart is pain and bitterness. That's one thing that also stops our blessing. You know, I've never gone to bed holding on to bitterness and pain. Mm -hmm. Never, never, never. And even through it all, some of the pastors who were doing that, they still come to me. They still come to my house and I receive them. I receive them. I receive them, you know. But that, that, there are certain things, sometimes you have to set your boundaries. You see, you have mm. to set boundaries. But you, you don't hate them. You don't throw them away. You don't, you don't suck them from your presence. You don't do that, no. no. I'm proud of and, and And I've never gone to bed holding on to any form of bitterness. Those who are saying bad things that I have sinned, I have to confess. Or oh, I'll die. I, I've forgiven them all. I've Hallelujah. Them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What you know, Jesus on the cross prayed for everybody, including the people who were who were crucifying him. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And I guess this path of walking the cross, it includes all that. Um, somebody just wants to know: have you been able to trace? where the um, demonic attack came from, in what angle? Because people believe um, sometimes it could be from family, it could be from altars, it could be from work, it could be... Um, mm -hmm. Did you get any revelation as to that? You, you, one thing is, you, you know, uh, every witchcraft coven, right, is, is made of seven people, mm -hmm. seven people. And the seven people, you get some coming from your family, some coming from your place of work, from your church, even the area you live. Where you... Uh -huh. So it's, it's a syndicate. It's not only from one source. You know, sometimes one will precipitate and then the other join. 
you 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 get to you understand me. Yes. So, yes. A witchcraft coven is always made of seven people, you know. So they come from different sources, from your family, amongst your friends, your your workmates, and even from your church and your your environment. Yes, where you live. So I, I think, yes, but I, I can't really go into detail. Yes. I can't go into Fantastic. detail. Fantastic. Um, I think um, um, for the sister who was asking, um, it's because of her own um, few things. So I guess, um, sis, you've now found out it's not just one. There could be a syndicate. And it's, it's quite interesting that the devil tries to replicate what God does. So God's, mm. God's, God, amazing number seven. He is also mm. looking into having seven people to form a syndicate. Um, yeah. Well, um, and we know the God we serve and how powerful he is. And today is all about God's power because it's not about any syndicates that ever happened. It's no, not no. about anything else that he tried. It's about mm. God's saving grace. God it's God. about God right now. It's about God. And that's who we want to focus on. So as much as I ask these questions, me, I'm just in awe of God. And I want to stick with who God is. And that is the whole point of um, this how-to series. Um, understanding the power of God. And if you think miracles are confined to when you read your your uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and anything else, just watch this space. There's one right here in front of you who is here to proclaim the saving grace of God, the healing power of God, both healing physically, mentally, and in the heart. And there is nothing our God cannot do. Nothing. He cannot do anything aside your little minds is what limits god but god can do amazing things um i've got pastor adline here pastor adline i'm sorry i should have given you a little bit of a nudge before i called you so if you are not ready to speak right now um I will just give you a moment. I just want you to spend some time probably blessing Yvette for us. Oh, Yvette, mm. I can see your sister, Rosina. Hi, Rosina. Um, um, blessing Yvette for us. So if you've got time to do that, and maybe if you've got a word to share, a word of knowledge or something, we'll be grateful. Hello, good evening, sisters. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. big sister. <laughs> So I just want to thank God so much for your life. So Sister Ibet was my senior in school, back in school. And mm -hmm. I have been so blessed by her testimony. You know, I, I mean, it's it's difficult to walk the path, but I do say that it's a privilege when the mm -hmm. Lord selects you for such an assignment because you see, your testimony becomes the very tool that overcomes the work of the enemy in the lives of many. And so uh, for me, I think that Sister Yvette went through a period where in heaven, there was a discussion that said, have you considered my daughter Yvette? Mm -hmm. And, and the, Lord, the Lord was of the view that Yvette will stand in her faith, that Hallelujah. Yvette will not turn her back against me. And that's exactly what we've heard here today. She is indeed a witness. Jesus said, you shall be my witnesses. And indeed, Sister Yvette, you are a witness of the grace, the goodness, the power, the glory of God. I thank you so much for your work. I thank you so much for your endurance. I thank you so much for, for patient endurance. Because yes, yeah. there was endurance, but there is also patient endurance. I thank you so much for the kind of heart you have. I thank you for being a living example of godliness. I thank you for who you are. You are a good woman. I, I, I mean, when I first heard your testimony, and today I've heard it again, I've been so blessed because I realized that sometimes we give excuses. We want an easy way of life and all that. But then the Bible tells us how Jesus was led into the wilderness by the Holy Spirit to be tempted of the enemy 40 days and 40 nights and you have walked this path and you have proven to us that we can all walk it and come out victorious i also realized that you love to minister in song in the testimonies whenever you are sharing i i i see you best forth in song and i said i say to myself this woman is a worshiper 
she mm -hmm. truly loves God. And it, it even flows, it just comes out naturally in her mm -hmm. testimony. You are mm -hmm. blessed. Your children are blessed. Everybody that is connected to you is blessed. Right now on CWW, all of us just honoring you, listening to you, appreciating what God has done in your life. We are all blessed. In the name of Jesus. Sisters, I want all of you, in your own words, I know you may be muted, but on your feet, in the realm of the spirit, I want you to speak life into Sister Yvonne. I want Sister Yvette, I want you to bless her. I want you to just begin to praise God because of this woman. Bless her household, bless the children, bless the family, bless everyone that con is connected to her, even the people that used to be sarcastic and were sure. We are praying in the name of Jesus that everyone connected to her in one way or the other come alive in Christ Jesus. Everyone begins to stand tall in the mighty name of Jesus. What the enemy intended for evil, God has turned it around for good. The Lord is using Sister Yvette to shock the enemy. In the name of Jesus, Sister Yvette, you are rising up. I see you doing exploits in your utterance, in the lyrics of the song you sing, in your smile, in your embrace, in your hug, the place of the presence of the Lord. I see that the presence of God is right there in your home. Nobody comes into your house, into your premises and leaves the same. For the Lord is with you. The Lord is your strength your fortress there is a righteous altar that has been established in your house in the mighty name of jesus you suffered but for every suffering that you've gone through purpose has come out of it anointing is pouring out of you in the mighty name of jesus together we say lord we thank you in all things we thanks in fact even though sister yvette was afflicted today we are gathering together to say thank you even for the affliction because out of the affliction has come this testimony for your glory i pray that the kingdom of darkness working in any sister's life who has heard this testimony will be yes. completely completely planted in the name of jesus destroyed by the blood of jesus by yes. the word of the testimony that has come forth today i pray right now that diseases are fleeing diseases hear me and hear me now by the power of the testimony that has been shared tonight you cannot stay in the bodies of any of the sisters depart right now in the name of yes. Jesus in the name of Jesus Sister Yvette your testimony will go far it will go beyond the shots of Ghana because the Lord is doing his work in and through you yes. The Lord is calling you as a voice to the nations. And when you speak, uh, the Lord has sent forth his counsel to your voice uh, and to your utterance in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord, I thank you. I pray right now that nobody will be silent. Nobody will be ashamed of their story. Nobody will sh be shy to share in the name of Jesus what the Lord is doing. For the Lord is doing a work through these testimonies. We are in a season where greater works than Jesus did, he would do. We are in a season where he's turning things around. And signs are following them that believe. The signs, the kind of signs that is following you, Sister Yvette. <laughs> no eye has seen, no mind has yet conceived. In the name of Jesus, miracles, signs, and wonders are following you. Because of the faith path that you walked. In the name of Jesus, wherever your story is shared and wherever your feet will tread <laughs> you possess that land for the glory of god i see that sicknesses are departing i see that people are being healed in the name of jesus strange <laughs> diagnoses are living in the name of jesus yes. because of the testimony that is coming forth the lord sent forth his word yes. through your voice sister yvette and many are those that are healed as they hear it in the mighty name of jesus in your case it was the healing of the body but the Lord says I'm not only doing the healing of the body, the healing of the soul, minds are being healed emotions are being healed the will of man is being, is being turned around to the will of God in the name of Jesus I see relationships being restored I see healing taking place in every sense of the word in the name of Jesus, the body of Christ is coming alive, we cannot 
cannot be sick. We cannot be slow. We cannot be doubtful. We cannot be depressed. We cannot be miserable. We cannot be distressed. In the name of Jesus, rise up, O daughters of God. Rise up, rise up. In the name of Jesus, it's time to rise and shine for your light has come and the glory of God has risen upon you. Rahan Talayama Kunda Shantaha. It's time to rise up and shine <laughs> for your light has come and the glory of God has risen upon you. <laughs> Some time ago, Sister Yvette was lying down, <laughs> but today she is standing and rising and shining <laughs> and showing for the glory of God. <laughs> Sisters, allow the Lord to do this in and through each and every one of you. <laughs> it's time to get up. It's time to rise up. It's time to stand strong. <laughs> in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we praise you. Father, we love you. Father, we adore you. We don't take for granted at all what you are doing in our midst. Oh. For your ways are not your ways. Your thoughts are not our thoughts. Your ways are not our ways and your thoughts are not our thoughts. Father, your ways are far higher and far greater than ours. But Father, we will submit ourselves to your counsel and we will align ourselves to come to the understanding that we may not comprehend your ways. You move in mysterious ways, but we know that in all things it works together for good for you are the alpha and the omega the beginning and the end the first and last and what you start you finish i thank you for sister yvette's life i pray father that yes. this woman is a vessel unto righteousness that all the days of her life she will walk in the overflow overflow of your anointing and your power she will be like a type of enoch and enoch walked with god and yvette walked with god until the former event did not exist again but all that existed was christ in her i Thank you for, for your power in her. I thank you for the manifestation of faith in her. I thank you for joy in her. I thank you for truth in the name of Jesus. I pray that through her ministry, through her ministry, Oh, through her ministry, all them that are bound shall be liberated in the name of Jesus. I pray for her that through her ministry, hmm, all them that have, 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 Signed up for witchcraft, all them that have aligned to strange altars shall repent and be turned to Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus through her ministry. I pray that everyone that comes into contact with her shall walk in alignment yes, to Lord. your truth. I pray that yes. CWW will never be the same again, even as we have just honored Sister Yvette and listened to her. That each of us will walk humbly before you. That no yes. matter the wilderness experience, we shall walk faithfully to the end. That none of us will be tempted to turn stones to bread. We will not be tempted to make any man-made changes along the way. But we will yes. look up to you, worship you, trust you, obey you, hope in you all the way to the very end. I give you praise, I give you glory for sisters that have been burdened this evening, who have heard the testimony and have experienced a liberation. I speak over them in the name of Jesus, that that liberation be permanent in their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, I praise you. For Sister Nanaya, I speak of her head, as Sister Nanaya, may you always walk in the overflow of God's grace yes. and goodness. That Sister Nanaya, may you be quick to identify truth and bring truth to these platforms to share with us as you have been doing in the name of Jesus. And Sister Nanaya, in your own life and your own ministry and your own career, may you stand tall among your peers, manifesting Jesus wherever you go in the name yes. of Jesus. Father, I praise you. I thank you. I thank you for what has happened here in this place. I thank you, Father, for the word that has thank come forth. I thank you for the joy that we all have, that we are all rejoicing in who you are and what you have done in the life of our dear sister Yvette. Father, I pray. I pray for sister Yvette. Mm. Now and forevermore, this yes. woman is just like Jesus here on this yes. earth. The way things are done in heaven, Father, I pray, let that same way be that which we manifest here on this earth. And specifically for Sister Yvette, the Bible says, as Jesus was on this earth, so are we. Mm. So for Sister Yvette, you are just like Jesus. And all of yes. us that are plugging in and honoring God because of what you have shared, we too 
we are just like Jesus, even in our walk. No matter how tough the growing gets, none of us will back down. None of us will quit because we know that the Lord is with us. Father, we praise you and we thank you. Thank you for these prophetic utterances that have come forth. Thank you for the time in your presence, in prayer, in sharing. Thank you, Father, for what you have done. That faith has risen. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. I thank you, Father, that you have strengthened us in this gathering. I thank you that the fire on our altars will never go down. I thank you that no weapon and no activity and no gathering, no orchestrations or enchantment of the evil one will be successful in any way. Because you yes. said... No, you said every tongue that rises against us in judgment shall be condemned. We condemn every tongue that rises against us in judgment. And we decree and declare that we are standing firm through the fire, through the water, through the stormy yes. weather. We are standing firm, steadfast yes. and sure in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. 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 You and your amen. household are blessed. And your ministry um, is blessed. And all of um, us are blessed. For the Lord has made it so. In Jesus' name, amen. We love um, you so much, sis. God bless you. you so much. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen, amen. and amen and amen. amen. Um, I'm, I'm just sitting here and I'm asking the Holy Spirit, what <laughs> should I say next? And I've got nothing to say and i'm thinking wow god we should just spend the rest of the time praising you but i want event i want you to end first with whatever god has laid on your heart to speak to these ladies about because these ladies are going through some hard times sometimes some of them are going through marriage difficulties some of them are going through um difficulties with their children some of them are watching their parents go through illnesses there are so many different walks that people are going through can you speak Speak a word into the, their lives first, and then we are going to spend some time praying before I hand over to the how um to the ten ten session who would lead us in prayer. But I want you to speak into people's lives first. Um, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What I what I can say is that let us depend solely on the Holy Spirit solely on the Holy Spirit for direction. Let us depend on the Holy Spirit for everything, everything in all our endeavors. Let us rely solely on the Holy Spirit and let us look unto God who is the author and the finisher of our faith. It is only through him that we can wax strong it is only through him that we can jump all the hurdles in this walk of life. The Lord is our portion in the land of the living. Let us hold fast unto him. Let us, let us rely solely on Jesus. Let us hold him strongly. Strongly, he's the only one. No one can help you. No human being can help you. No other entity can help you except this God, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisi, El Shaddai, El Elyon. Elohino is his name. Mekadishkim is his name. He's the only one that we have to rely on. Pour out your heart. Tell him all that you are going through and he will surely come in and help you. He's our only help. He's the help of the helpless. There's no one. Your family members can't help you. Your mother will not help you. Your friends will not help you. No pastor can help you. He's the only one. He's the only one. They can support you with prayers and everything, but God is our only source of help. So I want you to, to hold fast onto your faith. Hold onto him. And he's the only one who will come through for you. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 amen and amen. Um, sisters are all quiet. I haven't got any 
any any comments yet but um is there a sister available who thinks they would like to sing some praises to the almighty god anybody willing to sing um i will give you a chance you just have to put your hand up because today is all about god and i know a lot of you have been touched and if you can just if i could just get a sister to sing unto the lord for us i'll be really grateful um just thanksgiving anything um sister nancy go for it he is wonderful he is wonderful my savior is so wonderful. Oh, he is wonderful. He is wonderful. Oh, he is wonderful. Oh, oh my Savior, yeah, so oh, my Savior, oh, my Savior, I so oh, every man. Oh, <laughs> Oh, 
open our mouth and say the and worship the name of the Lord. He's I am that I am the beginning and the end. Oh God, we don't have words to describe you. Take your praise, Lord. Take your praise, Lord. Take your honor, in the bracket and the Mahila Brakayan, the Mahila Brakayan, the Mahila <laughs> I'm 
Father, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you for everything you have done here today. Lord, we thank you for showing yourself so mightily in our midst, showing who you are, the Lord of heavenly armies. That is who you are, Jehovah Sabaoth. You have gone forth and fought battles that we could never fight. Lord, mm. tonight we lift up our sister Yvette before you. Like mm. um, um, unto, unto all these sisters over here, we lift her up. And we mm. ask that, Lord, you continue to protect her. You continue to finish that healing that you have started in her mm. life. Continue to perfect that healing in her body, in her mm. mind, in her soul. Lord, mm. for wherever event speaks, may people come to you. May people come to understand your saving power. Lord, tonight we pray that every sister who has, has heard event speak, Speak. They will go forth into 2024 believing in your power and your might that there is nothing you cannot do. There is no mountain you cannot level. There is no principality you have not dealt with. For you made a public spectacle of them, Jesus, at the cross. You triumphed over them. So we walk in that authority, yes. knowing well that you oh god has already triumphed lord tonight we are grateful to have had this opportunity father i pray to anybody else who will watch this testimony and all the others that have been uploaded on the internet as yvette has spoken may they move people greatly may they come to you lord we pray that this testimony will go into higher places into the world may others hear of it lord may it move into in into areas we never thought about you are mm. god by yourself lord we ask that you continue to work in her and in us just to bring you glory bring you glory as you have said philippians 2 13 you yourself work in us for your good pleasure may we please you in everything we do thank you jesus for letting yvette come and and bless us so much thank you so much thank you thank you thank you we have prayed every single prayer in the mighty and matchless name of your son jesus christ Amen. 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 Sisters, we are, we, you know, we pray um, from 1010, but 1010, um, how to series has stolen so much of your time. Now we are giving it back. So we might start a bit earlier. 
So thank you, Yvette, for coming. Um, you can join us if you want to pray uh, with the 1010 session. We pray in the spirit till about one, but I know you might have a service tomorrow. So if you discreetly leave, um, that would be okay. We have been mightily blessed and we are currently going to share the grace and those who are able to stay will stay. Okay. Let us share the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the sonship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness, love, goodness, and all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord,